I'll let you in on a little secret. The crypto tax forms you get from exchanges can usually be thrown right in the trash. Not because they're not important, they are, because the IRS will get them too. But they typically don't include all the information you need for a crypto tax return. My name is George Shackrow, and I'm a crypto tax attorney here at Gordon Law Group. There are numerous crypto exchanges out there, and they all send different tax forms. Some exchanges only send them to users with a certain amount of transactions, and some don't send any at all. We actually have a video of what to do if you don't get one of these forms. Please check it out. In this video, I'll cover some of the tax forms issued by some of the most popular exchanges. I'll explain what information is actually on these forms and show you where to find them. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment of what exchange you prefer to use. Also, make sure to check out our crypto tax guide, link in the description. It has everything you need to know about crypto taxes. This is an update for all bankrupt exchanges. You will get a 1099 form, but you might not have access to your data. In that case, it's probably best to file an extension. Let me make one thing very clear. All crypto exchanges will report to the IRS very soon. Originally, it was supposed to be the 2024 tax season, but now it's been pushed back. But it's been signed into law. So it's more important now than ever to report your crypto accurately. When you receive any type of 1099 form, it means the IRS has already received that form as well. They know you traded crypto. And in some cases, they might think you made way more money than you actually did. So what tax form might you get? Let's start with the form 1099 MISC. This is issued by Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, BlockFi, and Gemini. This is what a typical 1099 MISC looks like. Form 1099 MISC is used to report miscellaneous income to the IRS for anything more than $600. When it comes to crypto exchanges, the Form 1099 MISC will report staking, interest, referral bonuses, and rewards to the IRS. It's very important to know, Form 1099 MISC does not contain information about capital gains and losses. That means it's only a fraction of what you need to complete your crypto tax return. Now onto the Form 1099-K, Payment Card and Third-Party Network Transactions. This is the same type of form you might get if you're running a business and taking payments through PayPal, like if you're selling things on eBay. Here's what a typical 1099-K looks like. A 1099-K is designed for payment settlement networks to report customer transactions to the IRS. If you use Crypto.com, you might get one of these bad boys. Again, if you transacted $600, you'll be getting one of these. Like Form 1099 MISC, Form 1099-K doesn't actually include the information you need for your crypto tax return. This form shows the gross volume of all the transactions on a given exchange, taxable or not. This form is not set up well for crypto exchanges. In fact, it's caused all kinds of problems for taxpayers and typically shows a much higher number than your actual gains. Or you might have even lost money. But the 1099-K is going to show all your transactions, not your gains. Gemini and Coinbase recently stopped issuing the 1099-K due to the insane amount of confusion. Back in 2020, the IRS issued thousands of warning letters to crypto investors who had reported their taxes inaccurately because the Form 1099-K showed a way larger number than what they reported. We have also helped numerous clients resolve these letters. Please contact us if you need any help. Finally, here's what a 1099-B form looks like. If you are using FTX, you'll be issued a 1099-B. Out of all the crypto tax forms you can get, 1099-B is the most helpful. This form is designed to report capital gains and losses. Form 1099-B contains information about your cost basis and gross proceeds in disposals of property, as well as the date you bought and disposed of the assets. If you use FTX, you bought your crypto there, you never moved it, you traded it on there, then you can just take that Form 1099-B, hand it to your accountant, and file your taxes. All good. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, Form 1099-B is lacking most of the time. That's because you can move crypto so easily, and anytime you move it, it's gonna look like a taxable transaction, even when you're moving to a cold wallet. And if you move crypto onto one of these exchanges that use 1099-B, there's no way for them to know your cost basis or acquisition date. 
So we often see 1099Bs with blanks or asterisks, meaning that the information is not completely correct. So you receive this form, now what? You can try to figure this out yourself, but you're gonna have to figure out the 1099 forms you receive, the 8949 and how to fill that out. You'll have Schedule 1, Schedule C income, and that's all headache. You can always come to me and I'll make sure it's accurate and timely reported. Now let's take a look at how to find these on each platform. Here's how you can find your 1099 MISC tax form on Coinbase. Log into Coinbase, either on desktop or mobile, click the menu at the top of the page. There should be a section that says tax forms. All of your tax forms issued to you will be found here. If you click on one, you can download it. Here's how to find your 1099 MISC on Binance. Log into Binance, either on desktop or mobile, sign into your account and tap the menu button. There should be an area called Tax Documents. Click on Export Statement to get a copy of your tax form. It might take a few minutes to load. You get a limited number of statement views on Binance. Once it finishes rendering, you can download your document. Here's how you find your 1099 MISC on Gemini. Click on your account in the top right corner of the page, then click on Settings, scroll down on the left hand side to the Statements and History tab. Your tax form will be found here. It's super easy. Here is how you find your 1099 MISC on Kraken. Click on your account in the top right corner of the page, tap on Settings, tap on Account. On this page, there will be a bar with the other destinations and one should say Taxes. Click on it and your tax form will be here. Here is how you find your 1099 MISC on BlockFi. Click on your account in the top right corner of the page, click on Reports. This page will have a section titled Tax Documents. Your tax form issued to you will be found here. Here's how to find your 1099B on FTX. Simply log into your account, click on your profile, and select Documents. Here's how to find your 1099K on Crypto.com. With Crypto.com, they email you your tax documents. Make sure you have your most recent email on file. You can download CSV files of your transactions in the documents section for all these exchanges. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you at all, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let me know if you found your crypto tax document.